What is going on guys? Knife got coming at you with another abandoned adventure video. This one here, get ready for it. We have a house that has a tree growing in it. This house has not been posted anywhere online because there are a couple people that want to keep it private between themselves. Unfortunately though, I did manage to find this location much like a lot of other ones that I happen to found. But either way guys, we are going to go check this place out. We just made our way in. It looks wicked. Get ready for the next upcoming videos. There are a lot of new locations in this area guys. Get ready for it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Big shout out to Sherotica. I'll leave her Instagram down below if you guys want to check out some pictures she's taken as well. And let's get right into this adventure, guys. starting at the front door of the building right when you walk in the front door first thing you notice is there is a tree growing in the middle of the house so this is aka the tree house you can see there's a little fan even up there I guess to have circulation going through it but it smells horrible in here the trees caused a lot of mold you can smell the mold through the whole building but we're gonna work our way around let's see what we got in the living room here so in the first living room, as you can see, like I said, all the ceiling seems to be coming down from water damage. Nice open big area. This will do in the front room with the ceiling unfortunately completely coming down now. Work our way back here to the side where the tree is and we got the kitchen now. Wow, super white. Big giant kitchen here, still has the appliances. Got the stove, dishwasher, little island here. Wow, look at even the chandelier, a little mini chandelier. <laughs> then we got out the back door. I wonder if they had even, oh, they do have a dishwasher in here, okay. Under counter sinks. It's a pretty nice little house though. I mean, it's not really a little house, but they even have the old intercom systems here. Check this out, guys. Newtone Scoville intercom system. That is crazy. Not 100% sure when this house was uh, dated back to, but I'll try to find some info, leave it for you guys. It seems like somebody was trying to sleep here. There's a bed or something. But as you can see, there's a lot of black mold. Same little chandelier up top. And a wicked looking fireplace. And it looks like here we got some kind of spiral staircase, which I'm not gonna go up yet, because we'll probably take that on the way down. So work our way back to the front little doorway here. As you can see, that's where we came in through the garage area. That's the small little side room, small bathroom. And I guess we'll work our way up first and then we'll go down and see what's all down there. It's crazy how many pine cones and everything are in here. It seems almost like an animal was living in the roof and then it broke in and all the pine cones and everything just seemed to fall. So probably squirrels living up there. That's overlooking. Big front bay window. And there's the tree. I think that is so cool that there's a tree in the house. Yeah, you can feel the dampness. Everything's frozen here.
Working our way this way. Ooh, and the floor's all bowed up. Big bubbles on the floor. Let me come into a second little room back here. Big, nice backyard. Looks like there's a small little patio area up there too. Little side window. It's pretty neat when you walk out though, just to be able to see a tree that size sitting there. It's definitely a first scene in my experience. Even the lighting fixtures, look at this, I just realized this. Look at the lighting fixtures on that. Super trippy. Have a skylight in the bathroom even, which is pretty cool. Then we come into the yellow room. Fairly simple, nothing overly fancy. Nice little walk-in closet though. Every room seems to have one of these little intercoms. Check it out. So you have talk, lock, volume, intercom, door, the no tune, new tone, Scoville. <laughs> See the top of the roof caving? <laughs> And then this, I guess, would have been their master bedroom. So full walk-in closet. And then we got, this, oh, that's the spiral staircase where it goes to, okay. Nice big old TV, the old Hitachi. The funny thing is it still has the remote control on top too. <laughs> but a nice little fireplace with the marble base on it. And then we come here, so that's the staircase to go down, which we'll probably take down. I'm not sure, see how strong it is. And then the master bathroom, wow. Look at this. Huge walk-in shower with a bench. Let me see if you guys, there you go. Walk-in shower with bench and all. Then you come over here and you got the full bathtub, jacuzzi tub. Gold fixtures and all. Wow, never thought I'd see gold fixtures on it. Look at the bathroom, <laughs> look at the toilet. Seashell toilet. The whole thing's done out of seashells. Faucets in the sink, same thing. Gold hardware. And then a nice old classic. Let me know in the comment section, what kind of car is that, guys? <laughs> all right. So that's it for here. So I say what we do is work our way down to the basement. All right guys, so this is working our way down to the basement which you can see is completely ruined. Lots of black mold down here, that's for sure. But this is pretty cool. Just for the fact, guys, there's the pool table. Wow. So this whole basement was flooded at one point. Now it's just frozen solid. And there is the pool table, or what's left of it. Not a whole lot. Try to work our way around here. Yeah, check it out guys. Old pool table. Still has the green mat on it, but it's full of mold, amongst other stuff. Hey look, there's the pool balls in the middle, guys. Pool balls are still in the rack and everything. Which is pretty darn neat. The only thing I don't like about this is how low the ceiling is. So I don't know how they would have played pool too well down here. Because <laughs> they would have been crouched the entire time. 
unless the whole floor is caving in, which I'm thinking that might be the case. This would have been just a little storage room back here where the furnace is. That's all it is, is pretty much the furnaces. Oh, here's the pool sticks, guys. Pool cues, even have the rake. The rake, let me know you guys what the rake's for. I already know what it is, but let's see if you guys do. I'm pretty much crouched right now. And look at this door, you can tell water damage on it because the door is bent in half. It's like rubber. That is crazy. All right, let's work our way over to this other side quickly and just see what's down this side as well. I'll give you this flashlight. I got one. There you go. All right. And work away. And then same idea, I guess, guys. This would have been just a little another storage room or maybe their main laundry room even. But as you can see, there's some paperwork back there and the rolling tubs are still good, the papers. Wow, this is crazy. All right, guys, I'm gonna take some quick snapshots, check out the place if you've missed anything, and then I'll tune in back with you guys. Oh, 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 oh,